How do you use a motor adapter in a small rocket like the Blue Streak? That's what I'm going to cover in this edition of the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan from Apogee Components. We're in the construction of the Blue Streak rocket kit and we're going to make the motor adapter. Uh, for that, you're going to need the remaining three blue centering rings, the green ring, and the engine mount tube. Now, first thing you'll need to do is to mark the tube about three eighths of an inch from one end. Okay, and that is where you're going to put two centering rings. So one is going to be glued right there. These are very tight. So sometimes you'll have to smooth down the little burr that's on the inside of the ring. That one's going to be glued right next to it. And then the third one will be glued at the end of the tube like that. And then this is the engine block and it gets glued inside the engine mount tube. <laughs> Um, again, I like to have the, the back of the engine stick out about three-eighths of an inch. So I'm going to mark the motor casing about three-eighths of an inch, so about right there. So as before, this is going to be glued inside. So I'm going to move all my rings so I can start putting glue onto them. is right there and then push the engine block in until we get there and then remove the engine. Okay and then I'm gonna glue these up. So the first one gets glued here. Okay. You gotta kind of do these quick because the glue um, because they're so tight, they don't want to move. And then this one will be glued on the end. And if I did that right, Okay, and I did. Good. Okay, so now to use this, um, now on the regular blue streak, the way you hold the, the 18 millimeter motor in is you just slide it in, and then you take some tape, and you wrap tape over the top of the tube and over the motor like this. You only need to go on, around one time, but it doesn't hurt to go further. And then you just smash it down like that. Now this keeps the motor in. It won't move either forward or back, and that is what you want. Um, and it's pretty low aerodynamic drag. Um, the surface roughness, you can rub that out as much as you can. Um, and it's really lightweight. There's no metal engine hook. So that's how you use an 18 millimeter motor. Now for the 13 millimeter motor, pull that out and you're going to take the rocket motor. Now this is the back end, so that's the end that the rocket engine goes into. And when you push it in, you can feel it hit the engine block, which is good. Now this one, the tape is probably going to be a little bit too wide, so I'll just tear it a little bit. Same thing, we're just going to tape it around the perimeter. So that holds that engine into the engine mount, 
and then this will slide into the tube and you can see I mean, I'm also hitting the engine block on the inside and it hangs out a little bit. It's just like the motor when the motor hangs out. So again, we could just wrap tape around it. Now this is going to, again, I don't need that much tape because I only have to tape around that little blue ring. Like that. Now the Blue Streak is such an overstable rocket because of these big fins that hanging in the back, hanging the motor out is not going to affect the flight. It's going to fly just fine in this configuration. Um, you don't need to add nose weight or anything. It's just fly it. It's going to be great. So that is how you use a motor adapter in a small rocket kit like the Blue Streak. And then when you're done, you can pull it out. So it allows you to fly both 18 millimeter and 13 millimeter engines. Um, so my name again is Tim Van Milligan. Uh, over here to the side, uh, we have some other videos that I think you'll enjoy watching. Um, if this is your first time to YouTube um, and watching our channel, please subscribe down there. Um, and also leave us a comment and let us know how we're doing. Um, again, may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.